Green Man Gaming, bringing you quality deals on video games for over 75 years. Okay, maybe not 75. Probably a lot less, actually. Scanning for anomalies. None detected. <sighs> We're on a journey, ladies and gentlemen. Galaxy map. Welcome to Stellar Cartography. Right, so we are here in IC2391 Sector ZE-ZB1. Now it will now it's telling me this is the last place we can fuel up on our current course. I don't believe it. We've gone I've gone through a few gaps already, but I still don't believe it. Now, the bubble is way over there. We are about halfway to our destination, considering we started up here somewhere, roughly. We are now here. We're halfway there. <coughs> so, uh, we're looking at about 48 or so more jumps to reach our destination here. I was just gonna do this myself, but eh, screw it. Close map. Closing map. All right, so the fuel scoop has been a godsend in this entire endeavor. So let me just get a bit more here. Excellent. And then we'll head up the next sector. By the way, yes, still incredibly isolated out here. Like, it's astounding how sparse it gets once you leave the bubble. It's honestly kind of impressive. I kind of figured we would have stations at least somewhat outside the bubble for a while, but no, nothing. It's Meeting weird. System. Interstellar velocity at maximum. We are completely isolated. Confirming exit point telemetry. Stand by. It's crazy. All right. Let's go ahead and scoop up more fuel. fuel At the same time, we're gonna charge up the scanner. System scan complete. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Need a bit more. There we go. That's all of it. That is all the fuel we will ever need. Well, no, we, we will definitely need more than that, but whatever. Is IC2391 sector AA-ZB5. We just follow the route. Follow the route until we get there. Is something incredibly bright that we just passed. All systems check out. No unusual activity. There it is. Alright. Uh, next destination is around the sun. Fuel scooping. Easy. Fuel scooping complete. Hell yes. Warning. Temperature critical. Ever notice we have a hood ornament for this thing? <sighs> or our hood's likely the size of a small house, so <laughs> it's hard to imagine a scale for this thing. 
pulled up. Mm-hmm. Exit destination confirmed. What's Arrival in five, four, three, two, one. I was gonna say it looks kind of white, but it's yellow. Thank God we're not going blind by looking at all these stars. That would be horrifying. Just imagine that your helmsman goes blind from looking at the stars for too long. Yep, three nine one one one. I like the name already. And lots of ones in it. drive charging. You think they go up to four 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 four? That's gonna be our quest. Hip four 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 four. Jump into next system. Actually, our quest is to destroy the Empire. Still trying to figure out how we're going to do that. Whoa. Hello. That's blue. Hello, Commando Hunter. Still gives us fuel all the same. Alright. There's a lot of stuff around here. Most of it unexplored and uneventful. Set up the next one. Friendship drive charging. Forty-five jumps remaining, and I am going strong. Talk to get to a bottle. I wonder if the very cool suggestions. Because <laughs> that's how you do a bane voice. What's it? Get a cup, put it up to your mouth, and then you just talk like a British person. Scanning for anomalies, none detected. I think I've said that a number of times on this channel. Fuck, what was the first time we did the Bane voice? I think it was Mayor Lewis in Stardew Valley. It's like, yeah, this is someone who needs a pain voice. Yeah, I get the gist of it, Cal Radian. Hang on. is a name that I've been using for ships for a really long time. Not just this game. What was the first iteration? Course adjustment. Probably uh, Starbound, I want to say. Maximum velocity. I want to say Starbound. Our integrity yeah. is within limits. All other systems are now at normal levels. Yay, normal. Hit up the discovery scanner. Fuel scooping complete. Excellent. Seeing a lot of unexplored planets out here. Why don't we fly by one? Here's one. Let's give it a quick flyby, see what happens. The 
If it's terraformable, then that's worth money to uh, somebody. Wish I had to pick the furthest one out. Don't know how I managed to do this, but I managed to pick the f one furthest away from the star. Clearly it has a few moons. I don't know how big it is. It's tiny. Like a whole system around it. What is that? This could be. It's a rock, isn't it? It's a tiny rock. No, worse. It's a gas giant. Which means we can't even land on it. Wait. It's a gas giant with rings. I don't know, you guys want to do an orbital survey while we're here? I suppose it couldn't hurt to make sure the equipment's still working. Put our speed down. See what these rings are made of. Well, it has been discovered. Let's see if we can map these rings. Wah! Surface scan complete. What do we got? What do we got out here? Bromolite. Bromolite. There's one bromolite hotspot. What's that way over there? Alexanderite. Yikes. More Alexanderite and bromolite. What about the inner ring? Okay, what do we got? Painite! There is painite out here. There's a lot of painite. Painite, platinum, monazite. This is all good data according to prospectors. We're basically just prospecting right now. Then we'll head back and sell the information. Apparently I have 14 new messages. Okay. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Says you entered all these channels. I'm wondering if we slow down to like 30k ms. Oh hell yeah! So we could basically just reduce our speed down to 30 kilometers a second, which is, in terms of space, is parking. <laughs> We could basically just park and then be like 
fuel. Free fuel. Give me. <laughs> Alright, heat is at 31%. Beautiful. We're gonna want to head up the galaxy map here pretty soon. Just to see where we reside. in the grand scheme of the galaxy. Where do Scanning we for anomalies. None detected. Whoops. This is the wrong tool. Excellent. All right. Nothing here. A couple planets we could land on, but that's it. This is ridiculous. We are so isolated out here. I don't know, I think the isolation's getting to me. I'm fiddling with my bottle cap collection. Building a little... Building an elaborate miniature city of bottle cap towers. My only respite in this... ever expensive velocity universe. Engaged. And the only means of retaining my sanity against its ever weakening. Confirming leash. exit point telemetry. Stand by. I think this is uh, where we'll hit up the galaxy map. Come on, start scoping. Uh oh. This star is broken. The star is broken. Uh huh. Tell me something I don't know. Galaxy map. Displaying map. The gauge has been reset, which means this isn't the last time we'll see fuel. Close map. Leaving map. So you look, this next star will have all the fuel we need. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! I don't think we get anything for establishing an orbital plane, though. Any more bottle caps? I gotta build the community center. <laughs> Where would we build this? I don't know, down there on the floor somewhere. The bridge on this thing is fucking huge. Again, it's like flying something the size of a housing project. Just maintain this distance. Let that fuel up. I know, it seems like it isn't moving. I can assure you, it is. It's actually going up very slowly because we are moving, but perspective-wise, it doesn't look like we are. Because we're moving at, because when I do that, we're moving at 30 kilometers a second, which is peanuts compared to space. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy states that the first.
first thing you have to come to terms with in space is that space is big. Jump into next I system. mean really big. You may think it's a long walk down to the chemist, but that's well, you may think it's a long walk down the street to the chemist, but that's just peanuts compared to space. Greatest sci-fi piece of literature of our time. Wait, we scanned the whole system? One body. What is it? Nothing. It's the star itself. We'll skip the fuel scoop on this one. Frameshift drive charging. It's a Class M Red Dwarf. Oi, oi, oi. Vectors. Hyperspace velocity reached. Hyperspace velocity. <laughs> Key systems are at optimal levels, readying for exit. Now. She's just like, you know, I am trying to work here. <laughs> You're the one that installed me on this goddamn ship. Alright, parking orbit. Right about here. not even an orbit. We got belt clusters. Just a few belt clusters, I believe. 23 bodies, though. It's a lot of stuff. So many planets out there, it's astounding. Like, it, it's incredibly difficult to come to terms with your overall size compared to the universe. You are a speck, standing on a speck, orbiting a speck. That is one speck out of a million, out of millions of specks that make up another speck. Which makes up millions of specks. You know what scares me? The heat death of the universe. Because just everything dies out there are no stars there are no planets nothing happens and nothing continues to happen forever Jesus Christ. fast is a light velocity reached. Hull integrity is within limits. All other systems are at normal It's not limits. gonna happen. It's not gonna happen for another trillion, trillion years. I don't know, maybe by, maybe by that point, whatever sentient life is still left in the universe will have figured out a way to create stars from nothing. To create stars from the ever from the ever empty cosmic expanse. Feels complete. Because the universe ain't gonna last forever. Scientists have all but confirmed the Big Bang. 
I believe in the Big Bang. But why just one? Why do we need to stop there? Why does the universe need to stop there? What if there were more of these Big Bangs? What if there were endless Big Bangs in the creation of in the creation of God knows how many universes, possibly infinite universes out there. Infinite. Infinite universes. And that That's just crazy. It was also the big crunch theory, which was that eventually the universe would collapse in upon itself. And then that would create an even bigger bang. Adjusting for jump. And if the big crunch theory actually did happen, which it probably didn't. So I'm pretty sure that theory was disproven. Just figure out that that's not how gravity works. Fuel scooping. 38? Eesh. That feels like a lot of things orbiting this one star. Yeah, I get the gist of it. Hang on. Just blow on it. <laughs> Turn the AC on in here. Sinu... Sinwafi. Sinuifei. Sinuifei. Something along those lines. 35 jumps remaining. Leaving system. And to think, with the sheer possibly endless size of the universe. We are but one tiny, 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 tiny speck in the ever expansive cosmos. We're not even a speck. Warning, temperature critical. We're not even a speck in the cosmos, and soon we'll be dead. We're just trying to get by in the incredibly small margin between birth and death. And when you narrow it down to that pure crisp simplicity fear cannot exist think about that as you go to bed at, as you go to bed tonight you got a big presentation coming up you remember this here's some uh, other words to live by for you <clears throat> this moment only happens once, but there will always be tomorrow. Jump into next system. Think about that when you're super stressed. Just think, this moment is only going to happen once. There is always going to be a tomorrow. I'm hoping by the time I'm like in my 
60s or so, human lifespan has tripled, maybe even quadrupled. At some point, hopefully, I will figure out a way to live forever. I am 25 and there is not a single day that goes by where I don't think about death. It's an unknown. It is purely an unknown. Fear cannot exist. Okay. Can we just scoop up that fuel? Give me all of it. All of it. Yes. Okay. Alright. What's next? EN dash H D eleven dash sixty two. Charge up that friend, that friendship drive. Friendship drive. Four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Exit destination confirmed. Arrival in oh boy. five, four. Three. Looks red. Two, one. Oh jeez. Well, we can't get fuel from this. I forgot System we're supposed to We're supposed to be scanning. It's, it's, it's the star and wait, okay. The thing is right here. Frame shift drive charging. Adjusting for jump. Yay! System jump engaging. Hull integrity is within limits. All other systems are now at normal levels. Oh, hey, we got fuel on this one. Excellent. More fuel for us. We desperately need it. We don't desperately need it, but we do need it. Get a all right, 30 jumps remaining. Have we only done 35 five jumps since I last checked. Really? Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Whatever accent Watto from Star Wars Episode 1 had. I don't know. Most of my. Uh, Interpretations of Watto's accent come from Star Wars Episode One Racer. It's like they come in, they look at all, they no buy, why nobody buy? E <laughs> he did that. He went e like what is he the Fonz or some shit? What is that? <laughs> e <laughs> Half the people watching this video aren't gonna know who that is. The Fonz? No, half the people watching this aren't gonna know who that is. Shoot, that's bright. Give me my sunglasses. Discovery has been made. Metal rich planet with atmosphere. Oh, we're gonna sell this. The moment we're back. It's gonna be a long voyage home. Complete. 
But yeah, that second fuel tank was the right call. Because I think we would... While we were away, there was sort of a gap in stars that I could exploit. And yeah. Got down to less than half a tank. Vectors. Pretty much had to park next to a uh, park next to a star for a couple minutes. Or at least a minute. Jeez, I don't Confirming know how long it was. exit point telemetry. Stand by. I need like Legos to fiddle with or something. Tell you what I need. I need an anime playing on the other monitor, but that's where the recording thing is. Also, that would get us copyright slammed, something fierce. Something real fierce. I do have Gate lined up. Even though I've watched Gate like three times, I don't care. Tell you what I would do, I would watch Shield Hero again. Only one problem. That anime has the bitch. I mean, she is such a bitch. Like, you guys have no idea. Not a fucking clue if you haven't seen this anime. Drive charging. Like, look up Rising of the Shield Hero Bitch. She will be the first result. Go on, Google Shield Hero Bitch. You know you want to. Or maybe you don't, I don't know. I'm not a mind reader. Frame shift now engaged. I can see that, thank you. Hull integrity is within limits. All other systems are at normal levels. Yeah, we've been at 100% this whole trip. We've been doing pretty good. Okay, we can slow down a bit. Sort of speed on by the star here. Just be ready to move. Fuel scooping complete. Right. Warning. Temperature critical. Frame shift drive charging. Moving. Oh god, 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 oh god. We're taking heat damage. Yeah, I noticed. Hang on. Leaving system. Faster than light velocity reached. Key systems are at optimal levels, readying for exit. Sure now, that? engage heat sink. Activate heat sink. Heat sink? Shit. We had a cargo hatch malfunction too. Does that mean we can't launch? Scoop. Respond. Um, we need to get out of Super Cruise real quick. Tell you what, let's park real quick, just get some fuel up. Not too close. Last thing we want is to get burned again. Fuel complete. 
really fucking bright in here. <laughs> really fucking bright in here. I said that into the microphone to see what it would respond with. It said, Relief a King Brian here. Cool oh, shit. Adjustment. God damn. Interstellar velocity at maximum. Exit destination confirmed. Arrival in five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we are. We have 25 jumps left. Okay, there is one thing in this star system. It's a star that we can't fuel scoop. Right, next one. Frame shift drive charging. Let's see what happens with this. Course adjustment. See if we could get any fuel with Hull this. Hull integrity one. is within limits. All other systems are now at normal levels. This looks promising. Let's give it a whirl. Yep. Apparently, I've discovered a star. Nine bods. Nice. What are they? All unexplored. Galaxy map. Galaxy map. All right. We're there. Destination there. Many jumps away. Fuel scooping complete. Oh. Exit map. Exiting cartography. We should get away from the sun. We don't want to get burned again. into our view, COL-173 Sector MUFB-27-4. Well, it's starting to sound like the name. In fact, I think that's that first number is correct. It is. Sector MUF. That is the wrong sector. And the numbers on the end are also wrong. Two jumps. I could knock that out in one video, but I'd want to get a drink first. Let's see what's around here. Seems to have established an orbital plane for us. Oh, charge it again. Thirteen. Nowhere to land. Fuel scooping complete. Why didn't we think of the double fuel tank before? Probably because we didn't need it, actually. This is the first time we're leaving the bubble. Drive charging. Like, in a major way. Any meaningful way. Alright, 
next star looks red-ish. It's kind of red. Or orange? It is yellow. It's a yellow. I think we can charge on this. Yep. Let's try to get around it. 15, nice. Feels good. You know what the best part is? Nobody's out here. No outlaws. No nothing. All right. Sector O U F. French drive charging. C O L one seven three. We're going deep into the C O L one seven three sector. Deep. deep. Jump into next system. Let's leave it off here, ladies and gentlemen. There are 20 jumps remaining. We're gonna cover them on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button really hard with your head. I need that drink now. Preferably one that I can pull a bottle cap off the top of. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs>